Uh, first question would be, I mean, since you're out here now, uh, being able to throw against this, you know, an all-star defense, um, has it surprised you at all? Are you putting extra mustard on because because you're finding that they're they're running a little faster? Uh, you seem to think that, but uh, we uh, we getting like adjusted with the routes and the receivers, and uh, I mean it's coming along good. Uh, when we threw with 707, uh, it went good. There's a lot of stuff that you didn't have to like put too much on. Then, like in high school, you'll see something open, and then, like a split second later, it's, it's covered, and it's just just tell you how good of a talent it is out here. Are you? Uh, do you have any expectations for this week about how you're going through it, and you know specifically, you know, on the field and with the team? Is there anything that you're saying when I get out of here, when it's all said and done? Here's why I hope I, I, I got out of working with this team and, and performing in this game. Uh, what I basically want to get out is uh, the feel for a better competition. Uh, just being able to read the defenses. Like, this is pretty much a college team. So uh, just reading how they'll play and just just getting familiar with players and with just learning stuff on the fly and just going out and play. After yesterday's dinner, I think you guys have – Good idea that you know it's not a regular old bowl week with the with you know with the army being behind it and, and, and some of the messages that they're trying to get across. Um, what is it that you hope to get out of this week as far as that goes? I mean, everyone knows that you guys aren't going into the army. You guys are you guys have have another path. But what is it that you hope to learn from from what the army is going to be talking about this week? Uh, just uh, with them is. Never like give up and just just stand strong and that's what I basically want to like get out of that just just to have that in me and uh, like they were saying yesterday about the code of being a, a great football player is just to have have that it in you that's what I'm looking to get out of this. Is there anything that you're uh, that you and, and um, O'Leary have talked about? I mean, knowing that you're coming together, it's got to be a little comforting that you're not just I'm the one guy out here, but you got someone from your team, much less not just someone you've played against, but someone from your team. Did that make it a little easier and make it a little bit more like, wow, I really got to get down there and, and I got someone that we can chat with and we can kind of ex share our experience a little bit? Yeah, uh, with him, it's, it, it helped me out a lot because, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how it would have been if I came out here just like a random person and just without him. So, I mean, he helping out. Uh, but I know like a couple players and like he know a couple players and he introduced me to. And so you guys are starting to network a little bit. Yeah. Is there anything that you want to try and prove as, uh, you know, everyone represents their, their school, they represent their community. You know, now you, you guys got a number of guys here representing Florida. Yeah. And you get to go against, like, a Texas or guys from California. Are you, is there some way that you guys are trying to represent, how will you represent Florida or something? You're trying to uphold that flag of Florida's successful football? Yeah, we was talking about that on the bus right over here. We was talking about Florida got the best football and everything. I mean, but football is football. The best players here in uh I mean, I'm here to prove that I can play with anybody in Florida, still Florida. Are you going to try and uh, are you enter, entered into the fooding contest, that the, the player player hero challenge where there's like food and push-ups and all that? Do you know if you're nah, doing that yet? No, nah, not that I know of. Don't eat for a while because if you yeah. get chosen, you got to eat as much as you can <laughs> <laughs> with that trophy. There's some big guys out here that will eat a lot yeah. more. Um, on game day, what what's you, what's going to be your expectation? I mean, you guys are going to have a contingent of folks, you know, family, friends that are probably coming out. Uh, what's your what's your vibe on what game day will be like when you come through that tunnel? You're introduced to the tunnel uh, and actually starting. I think it'll be crazy. It's, it's going to be like it's going to be way better than any other game that you ever play in. And uh, I mean, I'm just looking forward to the game. Uh, I mean, the crowd going to be there, but I'm looking forward to win. You're not uh, you're not finishing high school early to get to spring practice, so you're gonna just you get to ride it. Do you, are you playing basketball? Too? Yeah, I just came back from basketball tournament before I came here. So you can, <laughs> you don't even get a break once nah, you get back. You're okay. like back into yeah. it. Second season starts for that. Yeah. Um, how does that how does that compare uh, with what your success is and, and and what you've learned there with what you've learned on the football field and, and where you're going with this? Is, is it do you find it similar or do you say you know there are elements to this game that are teaching me more about where I want to go? Uh, uh, in some cases, it's the same, and uh, you use in football and basketball. It's kind of like different muscles, but using like the same like drive and stuff like that to you still want to win. And I mean, some people do stuff different, but I mean, I do it because I love both of them. So all right, yeah. Well, cool. Hey, all I right. appreciate you me pulling you out of your lunch period for a little talk.